Hey guys, so as a mom, I feel like I am constantly cleaning, especially now that my kids are home, but I often overlook the deeper clean stuff that can make a bigger difference. And so I was excited this week to do some research and here are seven tips for a healthier home. Thank you to Dyson for sponsoring this video and motivating me to do this. Number one, wet the bedding. So not only pillowcases, but the pillows inside and your mattress pad should be washed every couple of months. This is something I never did unless someone actually wet the bed. And while that's in the wash, you vacuum your actual mattress to get rid of all of those nasty dust mites. Number two, tackle the touch points. Studies have shown that keyboards can have five times the amount of bacteria as a toilet seat. Gross, I am on my keyboard all of the time. So now I'm using a Q-tip once a week with rubbing alcohol to really get in between those keys and also wipe down things you touch frequently like your remote, cell phone or tablets, light switches, enlist your kids to help and set a day during the week you do this every week. Number three, humidify and purify the air. The EPA says that indoor air quality can be five times worse than outdoors. And so I'm so excited my family has the new Dyson Pure Humidify Plus Cool, which offers triple functionality. It is a humidifier that gives off mist so fine you can't see it and it can't carry bacteria. It purifies the air and captures allergens and having good air quality is so important to me since Presley has reactive airways. And finally, it is a cooling fan. As you can see, we all love this feature, especially Ford who made me download the Dyson app on his iPad. Wait, I want to see you. Um, unfortunately, he doesn't have enough hair to move in the wind. Uh, Ross gave him a buzz cut last week. <laughs> Looking good, buddy. But my favorite part of this is that it literally cleans itself. We all know humidifiers accumulate bacteria and minerals. You put in a citric acid mix, you run it for 60 minutes, and you are done. You know what doesn't clean itself? Number four, kitchen appliances. Oh yeah. So your microwave should be deep cleaned once a month. You can do this by adding one half cup vinegar to one half cup water and heating it up till it steams. I know it's a hassle, but you should pull out all of the drawers in your refrigerator and clean those out. And I don't want to fully show you what's inside my coffee maker, but that had to go. Check on expiration dates for your water filters and add those into your calendar. Number five, vacuum vertically. I'm talking shades, windowsills, mine are so gross, pillows you can't wash, drawers and toy shelves. These all contribute to dust mites and allergies. Number six, clean the cleaners. Bathtubs can get ridiculously dirty. Make sure to never keep toys in there. Squeegee off the shower when you get out. We'll see how long I keep doing that. And put a bath mat outside your shower if you've got carpet as opposed to tile because that can stay wet and get really moldy. Deep clean the washing machine and vacuum out your dryer's lint drawer. And finally, quit the clutter. This is more for our mental health and something I am continuously guilty of. I definitely blame what's up moms. So my new goal is to tackle the countertops at first so I can see some immediate success and then make sure that everything I put away has a specific home. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. Leave your tips below on how to have a healthier home. I hope you are staying safe and I will see you soon. Bye. Thanks again to Dyson for sponsoring this video.